Who gets credit for Bobrovsky all of a sudden coming on a little bit? This is a guy that you signed. I know there was a, a lot of talk uh, that years followed about the signing, but he's showing that there's still life in him, right? Yeah, you know, I think he's a little bit, you know, he was sick and missed a lot of games, and the Lions came in and did a great job for them. So I think the fact that he's pretty well rested and didn't have to carry the brunt of the load towards the end. Yeah, he looks sharp and he looks healthy and he looks refreshed. So, you know, that's good news. And, you know, I mean, the save he made on Marshawn in game five, you know, was probably the turning point of the whole series. You know, that that series is over if he scores there. Hey, Dale, um, where do you think Bobrovsky struggled early? Was it just maybe the expectations of, 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 of carrying such a big contract? Where, where did you see the struggles early uh, since signing him? Yeah, I think that, that, you know, that's one thing I said to him once he signed that contract. I said, you know, don't let this burden you. And I think it did. And the second thing, his style is he's kind of a deep in the net goalie. It was. And then trying to move to the top of the crease and play outside, you know, he kind of was in the middle a lot. You know, he wasn't quite sure if he should be out or in or out or in. And so I think a lot of that had to do, you know, there was a combination of the contract and trying to change his positioning a little bit. So it took him a while. Like, you know, he was inconsistent, obviously, and struggled. But, uh, you know, when you look back on his career, he's had some pretty good numbers and he's very athletic and he's very dedicated and he's very driven. And uh, you can see it now that he's, you know, he had a little bit of a test there with Lions playing all the games. I don't think he liked that too much. and He doesn't want to be taken out of the game. So I think you know, he's more motivated and he's more rested than he's been in the past. Dale, you've had a lot of experience uh, building teams, shaping teams, and, you know, assessing what teams need. What are your thoughts on this Toronto Maple Leafs team and the additions they made at the deadline uh, in terms of being equipped to have success in the postseason? Well, I think, you know, you need you need to, to be heavy in the playoffs. You know, they get away with a little more clutching and grabbing and it's a little more physical and it's more demanding. Picking up Achiari and O'Reilly, you know, two guys that really give them, and McCabe gives them some, some strength and size and um, and uh, durability is what you need. You know, every other night you got to play and you got to win 16 games. It takes a toll on a team. And if you're a, a light team, a team that plays – on the perimeter, you're not going to have much success in the playoffs. And I think they addressed the need there that they needed to be more physical and more durable and, and more competitive in, in the physical part of playoff hockey. And, um, you know, they went and did that at the deadline. And I like I like those pickups and I like those moves that they made. So much talk, Dale, about Matthew Kachuk and the impact he's had, uh, especially from Christmas on against Boston. And then great game to open up this series against the Leafs. What were your initial thoughts when, when Jonathan Huberto, who had a career year at 115 points and looked like he was really the face of the franchise along with Barkov, all of a sudden is gone for Matthew Kachuk? What did you think about the trade at, this, at that time? Uh, we all know how it's turned out. Well, I, you know, you always uh, the, they paid a lot to get Kachuk, and I've always liked Kachuk, and I like Tuberdo and Uyghur as well, and, and uh, give up some picks besides. But you know, I think it was the fact that they they needed to step up in the playoffs and be more physical and somebody that can compete in a playoff structure, and that's what they thought they needed to do. And there's uh, Matthew in the fa- you know every scrum, every every play, he's right in the middle of it. The, this kid's amazing. I watched him pretty closely uh, the last three games and even into the play before the playoffs. I mean, every time you see a scrum or every time there's a goal scoring opportunity, wherever the puck is, that's where Matthew is. He's fearless and he plays, plays that way all the time. He's consistent and he's uh, passionate and he's, you know, he's just driven. 